everyone and welcome. This is Angela with Purple and Pink Every Day and today I'm going to show you how to use a single line font in Silhouette Studio. So if you downloaded one of these and have no idea what to do with it, stay tuned and I will take you step by step through the process. So once you've downloaded your font, you're going to open it up. And I'm going to open it up as an SVG. So we're going to go to font and we're going to use the one called Humble Hearts. And I'm going to open the SVG. And the reason we're going to do this is because if we open it up as a PNG, we won't be able to um, manipulate it the way we need to. So let's get this opened. Now, as you can see, it opens up like really tiny. So we're going to go ahead and, and scale that up a bit. Here we go. So if you've purchased one of these from me, not all sellers, I don't think, do this. But I also include um, the font that it was based off of. And this one was called Humble Hearts. So the reason I do that is so if you want to put in, um, like say you're going to do a, a cute little sign that says, you know, welcome home or something like that. So we're going to type that in. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our fonts. And we're going to find it and there you go. And... I'm going to make this, let's do it a different color, like a lighter color, so that way, because what we're going to do is trace over it, and we don't need this. So there we go. So let's increase so we can kind of see it a little bit better. And what we're going to do is take our letters, and we're going to go right over this one here. And then we're going to delete this, and then we're going to have a nice, perfect, single-line font we can use um for our quill foil or a sketch pen so as you can see this is all in like one piece i can't move i'm moving them all and they're like sticking together so what we want to do is go to object and go to modify actually you just want to go to scratch that you just want to go to ungroup and as you can see it ungrouped everything now they all should be the letters should be all in one piece, but if you happen to get one that like you move it and then it's like broken up, you can just highlight it and group it back together. So, okay, so the first thing I want to do is kind of keep it all together, but I want to scale it all together so that way we don't have to scale every single piece like majorly. So we're going to keep going until this matches okay so that's pretty close so then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our letters then we're just gonna go like that and we're gonna do it one by one So here we are. Now, obviously you need to reuse a few of these letters. So like the E, I just had to duplicate it. And the O, that kind of, same thing. You have to duplicate what you need. Okay, so obviously once we're done, we don't need all these extra letters. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those real quick. So let's go in and just kind of delete everything. We're not going to need. Make sure, I got all. Yep, a couple stragglers over here. Get rid of those. Okay, so they're all deleted, and now we have one like perfect um, 
We're going to group that together. Control G to group it. Um, if you don't want to use the shortcut, you can just go right over here where it says group and group that together. Okay, so now if I was to print this out, nothing would print out because right now this is at a zero width, as you can see, it's zero. So if I was to make this a little bit bigger, if I were to print it, it would print out so you could actually see it. And so from here, we go to send, and we're going to send that to our silhouette. Okay, so there you go. Now, the first thing I want to do is we're going to go, I always cut by line color, it's just something I always do. Don't know why it's not coming up. But right where it says cardstock plane, I'm going to find, um, we're going to sketch. And I have, I used to have, a setting for foil. Let's just go with this for right now. And tool two. And we're going to change it from cut to sketch. And then we're going to leave that on pen. Now for your force and speed is going to depend on your machine. If you're using the quill foil, slower is better, always. So I'm going to reduce this to like a three. And then the speed I'm also going to reduce down to like a four, maybe. And then you can go ahead and send it to your machine. Now, like I said, this will either work for um, the quill foil sketch pen. Either one, it would work fine. Um, you may need to play with your settings to find what works best. If you if you do it and it's going through the foil then you need to reduce your force and your speed so that's about it um nothing else i can think of right now um and yeah this is, will work for any for any kind of um single line font that you download if you have any questions please feel free to email me and don't forget to like and subscribe it means so much to me have a great day bye Little